Today we're going to talk about how to pronounce the ED on the end of past tense verbs like walked, talked. Um, so in another video I talked about when S is voiced or unvoiced and the same principle applies to this ED sound. Um, so for instance, if the verb in the present tense ends in an unvoiced consonant like K, as in I talk, talk, then we're going to pronounce that ED with an unvoiced consonant like T. Today I talk, yesterday I talked. Now if the verb ends in a voiced sound like J, that ED sound is going to be voiced also, so the T becomes a D. Today I judge, yesterday I judged. Now this applies mainly to regular past tense verbs. There are plenty of verbs that don't follow the ED rule. For instance, um, today I buy, yesterday I bought. It changes completely, right? So I'm only talking about the verbs where you add the ED on the end. Very rarely do we pronounce that with an ED. There are a few though. For instance, today I wait, yesterday I waited. We kind of pronounce that ED. But most of them, it just becomes a one letter sound at the end, like T or D, either a T or a D. Today I hike, yesterday I hiked. That K is unvoiced, so the ED becomes an unvoiced T. It's always either T or D. And let me think of a verb with a voiced sound at the end. Um, I can only think of bag, like I bag my groceries. Today I bag, yesterday I bagged. It's with a D. Today I bake, yesterday I baked with a T because the K is unvoiced. Today I miss, yesterday I missed. The S is unvoiced, so it, the ED becomes a T, missed. So one with the Z, maybe raise, like you raise the field. Today I raise, yesterday I raised. That voiced Z becomes a voiced D instead of uh, T for that ED. So that's just a general guideline of how to pronounce that ED on the end of past tense verbs in English. It's usually either a T or a D, and that choice depends on the consonant in front of it. It should become natural to you. You shouldn't have to sit there and think about it because it's just easier to do unvoiced, unvoiced, or voiced, and voiced. It's just easier to put the same type of sounds together. I hope this helps and have a great day. Please subscribe.